World Meningitis Day was recognized over the weekend, raising awareness about the potentially dangerous disease and the importance of updated vaccinations. Well, the reporter Stephanie Saul joining us now with an update for us. Important reminders for everybody here. The CDC has warned about a growing number of cases of bacterial meningitis that causes inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. In 2013, college sophomore Emily Stillman called home with a headache. I thought she had the flu. She thought she was overtired. The next time her mother got a call, she says it was from the hospital. She was told her daughter had contracted meningococcal meningitis. Emily died the next day. Emily had no chance. Alicia Stillman says she thought her daughter had been vaccinated against all forms of meningitis. But 11 years ago, the vaccine to protect against Emily's form of the disease hadn't yet come out. Meningococcal meningitis is fast acting and highly, highly dangerous. Stillman and others launched the American Society for Meningitis Prevention to make people aware of the disease, which is mainly caused by five types of meningococcal bacteria. Vaccines to protect against all of them are now available in the United States and recommended for adolescents, those who have other risk factors or underlying medical conditions like HIV. Meningitis B is not a mandatory vaccine. That's why those who work with the nonprofit say it's important for health care providers and parents like Stillman to stay on top of vaccinations. It's important that all parents know what vaccines their child is given so that they can ensure that their children have received protection against all five serogroups. Now, symptoms of bacterial meningitis can include fever, headache, and a stiff neck. Survival usually depends on quick treatment with antibiotics. And also, doctors mm. say everybody needs to check and make sure kids are updated. Everybody is updated mm -hmm. on the meningitis vaccine. But especially vaccines. kids. That you're, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh and God. kids in college. That's oh, a yeah. big concern yeah. also, living in close quarters. Mm -hmm. So check with your doctors to make sure you're updated. All right. Very scary stuff. Thank you very Thank much.